Okay. So these illusions has caused them to not be able to sleep at night. They're stressed out because there's mystery. Oh, they didn't know that Delia signed with the devil, bitch. They thought they were stronger than the devil and that's not true. Have y'all ever seen Disenchantment? On Disenchantment, there's a D-E-M-O-N -E named Lucy and he said to the main character, Lucy was like, hey, next time Elfo, no, he was like, yeah, I saved Elfo's life, but next time I'm gonna let him die. And then um, the main character was like, oh, that's fine. And then the demon looking at him, her and he said, do you know you just sold me Elfo's soul? I was just watching that yesterday. That's what this is giving. People sell their soul and they don't know that's what they're doing. So stay away from this motherfucker here. They're all in your business. Stay away from this motherfucker here. They're all in your business. Yeah, but things are not... They want to love bomb you now. Yeah, they want healing from you because you were the source of healing, but they stole your energy and gave it to the next bitch. Look at that in front of uh, Gave it to the next cousin. Like, no. Okay, nine of wands. Please clarify this nine of wands. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody could be a life path nine. Something could have happened between the years of... Uh, like, okay, September 22nd, 2020, and then... September of 2022 and September of 2020. That could be very significant, but with the strength card here, yeah, it's like this person was forced to find their own inner strength after fucking with you. You know what I mean? Um, Leo energy, they really thought they found strength in another union. That's crazy because maybe this is someone from their past. Maybe this is someone that they really thought they cared about or something or you, vice versa, third party. It's just like a lot of heartbreak. This is somebody who would have let them cheat. This is somebody who will let them, if, if it's a coven, this is somebody who will let, who will operate in the evil, you know, like no problem. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> let's just go attack so-and-so because she's too fucking pretty. Like, how dumb are you? You know what I mean? Okay. What's going on with the strength card? Judgment is in reverse. They not ready. They try to call judgment on you and got judgment called on their motherfucking asses. They should have never did that. See, they don't know what they're doing. Queen of Swords. They were trying to overthink you, but they didn't know how your connection to the spirit was. Your Ten of Pentacles. See, your line of credit is really good in the spirit. And they don't know what to do about that because they're not used to that. Does that make sense? They're used to having to sell stuff and, and like sacrifice stuff and this and that. And you probably do the same thing. But I just don't feel like you do it the way they do. Why is judgment in reverse, bitch? They tried to outthink you because they thought... Seven of Swords because they tried to steal their way through. Like, you can't fool the fucking spirit. Are you dumb? Yeah, somebody did black magic to reverse something. They tried to steal your money. They saw you coming up. They tried to take your fucking energetic stamp. There's also somebody who, when you're doing your spell work too, put a little spit on it or just put a little bit of your DNA in your spell work if you don't already do that. I'm telling you, this motherfucking emperor is mad that you left them in the dirt. This is somebody who was like, oh, I... You were supposed to be in my spiritual house. I'm your spiritual father, your spiritual mother. Oh, I'm your this and that. I'm calling them all out today, bitch. Two, two, two. When I said that, come on now. We're supposed to be a divine union. Yeah, you were divine counterparts. Okay. Just give me one more for the seven of wands. I meant seven of swords. Because this is someone who planned to come back. That's what it was. They would only take a little bit at a time. Because they planned to come back. Eight of Swords. And so the reason they try to see. You know why I'm getting mad. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm getting a little bit mad. You know what I mean? Like, at them. Because this is disgusting. Like, this is like, you guys are in the energy of abundance. And it's like, they really, really tried to come for you, bitch. Like, what? No. So this is what, this is what the plot was, y'all. This is what the plot was. They knew the whole time they was dog ass wrong. Like, they knew that, okay? And they thought that you was just going to lay down and let them do whatever to you. But they didn't know. You, your spirit team has pulled you back. Okay? So what they planned to do was, this is what they did. They took a little bit from you at a time, but then left some, you know, so that you weren't on to them. Like, maybe you started to have a weird feeling about them, but you weren't, you're like, man, I'm overthinking it. You know what I mean, guys? You're like, oh, I'm overthinking it. I'm tripping. But they feel like you over they feel like you overthrew them. And they try to call judgment on you, but it's in reverse. Spirit said, ah, ah, ah. You did this, they did this to themselves. So now they're trying to steal through black magic. They're like, well, fuck that shit. I'm gonna throw a couple roots. You know what I mean? This is giving the energy of they know that they lost, so they're just trying to swing on the way out. 
by playing mind games. So they wanted to take a little bit from you, keep you in your spot, and then keep you mentally entrapped, like real confused, like keep you in that spot where you were like running around in circles. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they just try to keep you confused because they felt like they kept bringing you back to the past. Like, I don't know, this is someone, this is someone who always try to bring up your past stuff to you. Like always, always, always. And then they would try to apologize to you, but then be arrogant. It's like, okay. Anyway, who is this mother? Who is the King of Cups? Clarify this King of Cups with the four cups, please. But they're blindsided. They didn't know that you're, you're telepathically talking to your spirit team. Yeah. See the help. Oh, so this person wants some help from you, but the spirit was telling them that they have to heal themselves first with the four swords on the bottom. They got to get some sort of healing. They had to, I don't even want to talk about it, but <laughs> why six of, six of cups? I meant six of pentacles here. Somebody wants you to give them another chance. They really do. King of swords. Look, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But they were, they were a thief. They were taken from me. They were lying to you about the other lovers and about being in union with you and about being balanced and all that stuff. It's not given that. You know what I mean? Like, this is a person who got, you know, done up on their own game. Okay? I don't know what it's giving, but because you're very resilient. Like, I don't know. I'm telling you, it's giving. You learn from the tech. Like, you learn the way you're supposed to learn. And so you don't have bad habits. And now these people are, like, mad at you because you're doing the right thing. It's just so fucking weird so like my listen like my family always say, don't try to understand crazy that's what this is giving okay do not try to understand crazy because these motherfuckers is crazy and they're taking it look hopeless and bitter i can't make it up bitch hopeless and bitter they have resentment against you because you're holding them accountable so yeah, wear a headband more often, you know, if you need to, you know, put you some Florida water on or some holy um oil, whatever you need, just, or just make sure you set your prayer, you know, over yourself and your family, you know, when you leave the house and when you're about to go to sleep and, you know, put you a little bit of water underneath your bed, you feel me? But yeah, they are talking to you in your dreams right now. So if you see somebody pop up in your dreams for no reason, this could be that person. They're very bitter. All right. So, okay. I'm about to close this up. Okay. I'm about to see what they want to say and then we can be done with this reading okay all right so what is what is this, what does the collective need to know about this person what is give us any messages thank you so much dear thank you for coming through and helping us out because this is very important that you need to know this is a tricky ass energy this is someone who's supposed to have more than you come on now intuition conflicted shut the fuck up look they're charming, yeah. Intuitively, you already know that this motherfucker is hot and cold with you. They can never make the right decisions, because. But somebody's real caring and 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 um. Somebody's real caring. Let me get these off the table first, so I can be clear, child. Yeah, but you intuitively know that somebody's conflicted about your beauty. It's like you're so pretty, they don't want to let you go, or like they're a very charming person. Okay. What does this person want to tell the collective? What's hidden? What, what does this person want to tell the collective, child? Thank you, Spirit, because we need to know. So that y'all know exactly who this is. What is this? Thank you, Spirit. Intuition came back out. Heart song, tele telepathy, inner knowing. There's also something about a song that came up. Like, I don't know if like music, they're talking to you a lot through music. So if you're hearing different songs through the radio or on YouTube or whatever, or even commercials, this person is sending you messages through that, okay? Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. Second chance, they want to reconcile. Oh, They want to reconcile. They want to make amends. They want a new opportunity. Bitch, you must have whooped their ass in the spirit. Mistakes. They may feel misunderstood. They, they feel like a victim. They're going to come at you like they're a victim. Oh, God. Okay. I can't fucking make it up, bitch. Come on. Curse is right here. Them motherfuckers, you think you're slick? Don't come over here and ask me for some money. Ask that bitch for some money. That's what this is getting turbulence and stress. They stress from a past life curse, bitch. This is this is a repeated pattern. This is somebody who every motherfucking lifetime they try to hex you, stressed out, 
turbulence, tension, and arguments. They're going through a lot of arguments and somebody made a mistake. Ooh, they made a mistake by sending this hex at you. I'm telling you, this negative mindset. And if, for those of you guys who are wondering, well, how do I know they hex me? Or, or black magic. Them talking shit about you all the time, that's black magic. You know? They, they feel misunderstood because they are feeling the hit of them trying to play with you. Look, I can't make it up. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Um, sorrow and mixed signals with the heart fog. They got blocked emotions from this grief and depression. Now they're fucking depressed. Okay, anything else? Final messages, please. Thank you so much, Spirit. We appreciate it. Ooh, wee! They're getting a lot of messages from their spirit guides on how they fucked up. Yeah, somebody ended this family unit. Yeah, you was real fertile with this person, but you left them behind. Or this is somebody who left their family behind and wants closure or about motherhood or... Okay, anything else? They don't got much to say. I told you, they're very tight-lipped. They're very, like, yeah, healing. They're rele You're releasing and healing, and they know that. And they're exhausted from, they're depleted from healing. Like, they don't, they, that's what I'm saying. Like, releasing and purifying has left them depleted and exhausted. Like, you see what I'm saying? They can't fuck with you. Look, they exhausted by fucking with the, with the divine feminine that they're obsessed with. Like, I can't make the shit up. You know what I mean? Like, they have this realization that they will never be you, bitch. They'll never be you, you know? And so they're not even willing to do the work. So that's why all they do is continuously try to put you in eight of swords. So you feel like there's no way out. But bitch, there's a whole bunch of openings. It's just a matter of changing your mind frame. Okay? So they do feel attracted to you. They're having a lot of epiphanies, understandings, and awakenings about this connection. So um, I definitely feel like yeah, but this is a hopeless person. So I wouldn't have nothing to do with them. They're just trying to reach on to you because they're sinking. It's like a sinking ship and they're trying to hold on to your tail. But where the fuck was they? You know, where the fuck was, was they when you were sinking and they was throwing black magic on you when you were down? It's like this is the type of person who tried to kick you when you were down and you didn't go for it. So now they're mad at you because you didn't go for it. Sick. Okay. Love you.